Hey guys, I just want to run you through this 96 CR250. So it's James Payton's bike. Um, all the trick bits, got some real trick bits on it, all available through JP. He's the man for all the old Evo stuff. So this is the bike that I raced at the 2021 Farley Vets Des Nations. Uh, finished second and uh, behind Mike Brown and the Irish team actually won it. Northern Ireland actually won it. So quite a good bike. I wasn't completely happy with it. Um, when I rode it, so we've made some changes and stuff and it's definitely feeling a lot better. So just a quick run through. Uh, it's got a fresco silencer on it. Uh, some nice carbon on the chain guard. Titanium like all the way through, like every single bolt on the bike is titanium. Uh, factory gear shifter, so pretty cool. Factory Honda gear shifter, titanium studs, titanium bolts. New carb, uh, go up to the handlebars. Got a center rental bars on, cool old school bar pad. I'm not sure what clamps they are. Uh, maybe factory, I'm not sure. I'm not completely sure. Uh, go around to the front. Oversized front brake disc makes a massive difference on these bikes. Obviously stopping was a bit harder on them, so oversized with that. Uh, old school front number board. Classic, looks pretty trick. ARC levers, pro taper perch. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what front pipe it is. It hasn't got a badge on it, but it looks like it's burning pretty sweet. A little bit of blueness. Uh, and other than that, not much. Pretty cool. Coat to the shock. Back brake. Good space. So this is uh, this is one of my friend uh, James Payton, not Payton, Payton. This is one of his uh, 2006 CR250s. Uh, he got the bike about two or three years ago, and this is the first time he's riding it. So uh, he got the bike from America. So it sounded like when he was riding it, like it's pretty cool. Uh, Terry Vaughan has done the engine, I think. He's, I think he's a tuner in America. He does some good stuff, I believe. V Force 300, some decent foot pegs. Uh, worst connection the best you do not get better than that so it's got some bits in it obviously it's got the shower twin table forks uh, bigger brake this so I think that's a little bit bigger than standard 
then they come standard. Obviously, this is the model with the with the RC valve. After 01, the 02 went to the RC valve. I think they tweaked it a little bit. Um, then other than that, Pro Circuit Pop, it looks like. Hinson cover. Obviously, it's got a different shock to the 96, so it'll be good to try that. Uh, what silence has it got? Uh, it looks like, looks like a Pro Circuit silence on it. So, just be interesting to see the difference. Obviously, there's uh, 10 years between the bikes. This is the last generation Honda that they built. Um, they improved it, I think, obviously, 90, 97 was the first year they went away from the, the steel frame to the alley frame, and then they improved it. Uh, I think they took a backward step on the engine when they put the electronic power valve on, but just be cool to back to back and see what the differences are, see how they handle, see what the motor's like. I'll let you guys know how it is. super interesting you know like i really enjoyed back-to-back -back testing bikes it's kind of you've got like an idea in your head a lot of the time of what's going to do what and how it's going to feel and stuff and nine times out of ten you know it's uh, it's very different to what you feel so uh first off the 96 the sorry the 2006 you know like i've had one before 2002 that was really good um and it just had like absolutely no bottom end it was quite a hard bike to ride and i kind of thought that this bike would be the same but I think it's definitely had some engine work. This is quite smooth off the bottom, but the mid to top end is unreal. Like even the way that the bike over revs in the air, like if you get a bit of a panic rev on, um, yeah, it's, it's quite impressive actually. So that kind of surprised me. Uh, the chassis on the 2006 is very different to the 96. The 96, you kind of sit in it. That's my favorite way of riding is sitting in the bikes. I think that's why I enjoy the old bikes. You sit, you sit a lot more into the 96 and have a bit more of a feel where the 2006 is a lot more of a modern bike. You kind of sit on top of it. Um, as far as the chassis goes, I actually preferred the 96 chassis just because it's closer to the ground and you feel like more in the bike. Uh, where on the 2006, you kind of sit on top of it, and the the chassis, you know, it's, it's hard to actually transfer the weight through the center of the bike. You actually go through the corners quick. Where the 96 is, it seems like a lot lower center of gravity for the corners and stuff. Uh, handling wise, the 2006 suspension was pretty good. Um, as far as you know taking hits you know like you can hit stuff a lot harder without the bike blowing through when you over jump jumps you don't feel it at all where the 96 you definitely feel it you know like if you land in a hole or if you over jump a jump you can definitely feel it i preferred the 96 as far as tracking went so the feel coming out the corners the bike tracked a lot better like it stuck to the ground a lot better where it felt like the 2006 really spun up like the the um the, the downforce was a lot better across the 96 i think that's just because it's 
feels a lot closer to the ground. So that aspect I liked of it. I think overall chassis wise, like if I was racing, I'd choose the 96 chassis and I'd probably go with the 2006 suspension just because, you know, like when you're racing there's ruts and stuff, like you can hit stuff a lot harder and be a lot more confident with it. Um, uh, while we talk about chassis, the front brake on the 96 is unbelievable. It's probably one of the best front brakes I've ever felt in my whole entire life. Uh, so easy like go through the corners drag it through the corners to get traction in the front wheel and stuff that was really cool um, but it's, it feels very low at the front you know like and that is a feel that I normally like but I actually prefer the 2006 feel with it being a little bit higher up at the front um, and then turning as I said before like those uh, those 96's it's like you're on rails you get into a corner and the bike just does exactly what you want it to do you don't have to second guess anything the bike kind of does the work for you which is always a nice feel and you can push really hard when you've got that feel on a motorbike so that's the chassis is pretty much done uh, back brakes were pretty similar I didn't really feel much in the back brakes gear changes were very similar as well the 90s uh, the 2006 was a little bit easy on the shift um, I think the 96 gearbox is still very new like it feels like a brand new bike it's quite tight um, so that's uh, chassis feel engine feel this was where it kind of our super surprised it was completely opposite to what it kind of uh, predicted would be the case in the box so the 96 has got more bottom end like it comes in it's got like a long it's got quite a strong bottom end but then it completely sound off like you get to the mid-range and the bike isn't going forward anymore and i really felt that way on the jumps i was going a lot further on the 2006 bike than what it was on the 96 bike and that was just because of the mid to top is so much more on the 06 compared to the 96 you know like the 96 like really signs off really early but it definitely has got a lot more bottom end you, you'll see on the gopro video on the starts and stuff you can see the 96 goes forward and then i feel it hits a spot where there's just no more power you know um where the 90 the, the 2006 was so different like especially compared to any other honda 250 two-stroke that i've ridden that bike is just unreal mid to top like it's actually quite scary because you get to the point where you kind of think it's going to sign off and the thing just keeps going and then the corner comes you know so you've got to be quite on the brakes um you know and be aware of what's coming the bike definitely builds uh, but de but definitely not as much bottom but a, a lot more bottom than the o2 that i had was like that had zero bottom where this has actually got you know it's got a decent feel it's not as much as the o6 but it's enough to kind of get you going and not have to clutch it coming out of corners and stuff so yeah very you know very interesting differences um i honestly thought that the 96 motor would be head and shoulders above the 2006 motor with that electronic power bomb or whatever it is um but yeah i'm surprised you know like i think that is a very good motor it's definitely not standard I think it's come from america so maybe that terry bond and the tuner or something but you know nice bike to ride um an ideal situation for me would be to have the frame of the 96 with the 2006 engine and then just work on the, I would say work on the 96 suspension to get that better and I think that would be the perfect combination just to have like a little bit more mid to top in that bike where it's so comfortable a little bit more um, compression you know like just to hold the bike up a little bit through like the ruts and stuff I think that would help the bike but uh, yeah just I think especially on the 252 strokes when you're racing the bigger bikes and stuff where you really need to hang those bikes on the 06 definitely just keeps building you know it's probably one of the the way that you can move it around the, the, the track a lot but I don't know if that's the feel of the bike or if it's just because it gets a lot less power when you get to the mid-range of power but uh, pretty awesome we got to do this thanks to both of the Jameses for letting me ride their bikes um, always a good time riding Honda two strokes on a Friday and you know I hope you guys take a bit out of the video it's something I've always wanted and finally I got the chance to try them back to back so I hope you enjoyed it <laughs>